Eight of us who voted to remove Kevin McCarthy have just sent a letter to our colleagues, really encouraging them to vote for Jim Jordan for speaker. And it seems as though the 20 or so holdouts against Jim Jordan have no goals, have no asks, have no objectives, other than to see the eight of us suffer some consequence for having removed McCarthy. So we've made them an offer. The eight of us have said that we are willing to accept censure, sanction, suspension, removal from the Republican conference. We, of course, will remain Republicans. We will continue to vote with Republicans on Republican principles. But if what these holdouts need is a pound of our flesh, we're willing to give it to them in order to see them elect Jim Jordan for speaker. All eight of you agree to that? That's correct. Well, I would say that we've got a speaker designate. We could elect him. We could have a speaker right now. And, you know, I think the world was on fire when America sat atop a $33 trillion debt with no plan to reduce spending. I think the world was on fire as we watched the dollar just continue to slip away in its status as the global reserve currency. So maybe when the lobbyists and the special interests don't have total control of a Speaker of the House, they think the world is on fire and in chaos. But we actually believe this is governing, this is legislating, this is working through our differences. We believe Jim Jordan is an inspirational Republican candidate for House Speaker. And uh, for those who are holding out, we would simply ask, you know, what do you want? other than for us to suffer some consequence which, which we, we stand ready to endure.